table, I'm Matt Cody. To my right, the Swami George Abraham. To my left, the Tiger Albert Cantlin. Spotlight, high school boys volleyball. The streak is over. Seneca Valley Raiders ended North Allegheny's 75 straight match win streak. 3-1 to one at Seneca Valley. The loss was the first for the Tigers. Listen to this, guys. Since 2017, when they lost the state title to Central York, <clears throat> the Raiders avenged their only loss of the season, 3 to nothing at North Allegheny, which you saw here on Armstrong, your friendly neighborhood channel. It was 3 to nothing by a total of 7 points. Seneca Valley and N.A. finished tied for first in Section 2-3-A. Seneca Valley 11-1, North Allegheny 10-1. Outstanding performances for Seneca Valley. 6-6, six, six, Nate DeGraff had 20 kills. 6-5, Grant Hoover had 11 kills. And for North Allegheny, Jack Birch. He had 10 kills. Championship match is May the 25th at Robert Morris University. What are the chances that both these teams will be there? 100%. I didn't say 98%. They'll, they'll both be there. 100. Yeah, there's no... There's, the the there's, dark horse in there is possibly a Hempfield. There's no chance team. they beat those two teams. That, that would be the only yeah, possible there might, upset. Let's put it this way. I'm going by a, a, a referee, a referee for 40 years, that said that night. He said, you'll see these two teams... In the but they feel final. And by sure. the way, if they're there, we will be there to broadcast that to you on a worthwhile. delayed basis. It is that worthwhile? Uh, uh, really looking, is. looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And no word yet on uh, the North Allegheny star player who's missed uh, the second half of the season yes, with the ankle that's big. injury. That's a key if he could come yes. back. But uh, take nothing away. These two teams are even, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. The fans know it too, so fans get pumped up for this one. Jeez. Yeah, the, yes. it'll, it'll be exciting. That would be uh, that championship is eight o'clock, uh, May the twenty fifth, at Robert Morris and WPL rankings. Of course, they have Seneca Valley is vaulted back into number one. North Allegheny is number two. Hempfield third, Norwin fourth, and Shaler fifth in two A. It's number one Olsh, number two North Catholic high school track. Butler boys win their second straight WPL title. It's their best run since 1997-2000 when the Tornado won four straight WPL titles and 56 straight dual meets under coach Kurt Phillips. Presley Ornelas, he won both hurdle events. Guinness Brown, he won the 100 and 200, and he was a member of the winning 400 and 1600 relay teams. He set it to Duke. C.J. Singleton, the Notre Dame recruit, he won the 800 and the 1600 he was a member of the 3200 Relay. Next coming up will be the individuals, which will be at Sipirok University, right? Yeah, yeah, that's always a nice day up there. It looks like they're going to have good weather. And for the girls, the North Allegheny girls win their first title oh, in 18 the years. Yes. They, they swept or came very close to sweeping all the running events. Yes. That's unheard of. In yeah, a, in a, when you get this time of year, when, play, when the two, three best teams There's are no riff teams. Raff, well, yeah, yes. the riff. yeah, <laughs> and they, all the running events. Yeah, and that's Tremendous. amazing. And for the girls, North Allegheny girls win their first title in 18 years. That's when they had won four straight. They beat Butler 96-52, denying the Tornado a fifth straight title. Uh, freshman, get this, guys. Freshman twin sisters, Wren and Robin Kukler, they ran the Tigers to victory. And their 11th WPL championship overall, Wren won the 800, the 1600, the 3200, and was a member of the winning 3200 relay team. That's a lot of running. And uh, Rob and her sister, also a member of the winning 3200 relay team, was third in the 800, second in the 16, and third in the 3200. The sisters are all of four feet, nine inches tall. Yeah, and uh, when you have freshman girls that come through like that, uh, it's different, different because they can run four events. You understand? Yeah. So they take over the meet. You know, if there was only one event, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's just domination. And running, too. There's something about running. Like we have a buddy, he's a strength coach for the Cardinals, and we said to him once something about how you get better. So like we, Usain Bolt, they went with him for a year to watch how he trained. And we, well, what did he come up with? He said he runs. <laughs> That's what hey. those girls do. They run. And, and they're freshmen. I guess they're 14 or 15 years oh, of age. Yeah. So they have three more years to go. Interesting story. The twins come from China. They were adopted and uh, brought uh, in, into the community there. And they ended up in NA, huh? And they ended up. <laughs> well, their, their, par their parents had moved, moved here, I think, from, from um, Illinois or somewhere. I gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. Hey, elsewhere in uh, track, the undefeated Carn City boys, they won the KSAC championship. 
Levi Hawk was a three-event winner, both hurdles, and a member of the 1600 relay team. Griffin Boer won the 800 and 1600. The KC girls, they placed second in the Keysock Championship. Softball star, and you've heard this name before in softball, ball, Rossi McMillan. She won three events, a 100 hurdles, the high jump, and a member of the 400 relay team. Levi Premontine of Slipper Rock High School, he was a three-event winner, both hurdles and tied for first in a high jump. Girls softball, who's the first name you think I'm going to mention here? <laughs> Rossi McMillan of <laughs> Carn City. Two home runs and four RBIs. This is a terrific athlete we have here. I like that word. In today's world specialization, I like athlete. And Carn Car City has done that. Uh, uh, over over the years with soccer and football, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also here with with these two sports, pitcher Mara Patton of Carn City, eleven strikeouts, and pitcher Sydney Selker and Autumn Powell of Freeport, a combo no hitter versus St. Joe's. Mia Ryan of Seneca Valley, four hits and three RBI. If you're six foot eight, yeah, you know, and then you specialize in basketball. I'm tired of specialization. One George, was it one yeah. percent? 1% get Division One scholarships. Yeah. Why wouldn't you in high school play everything you could? Remember, remember, unless you're throwing a 97 miles an hour in baseball and you know you're going to be a top draft yeah, choice. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you play them all? That's, I, don't, I, don't, I don't grasp I this. That's the new thing. I don't, you know, I can't go to ball. I, have, yeah. I just have to play volleyball. Yeah. Well, if you're six 6'6", and getting 30 play kills, play ball. Remember, we had two <laughs> in that time. We said, well, what are you? He's a, he's oh, a he volleyball giant. player. He's he went fabulous. Penn State. Yeah. yeah. It, but these six, other guys. What was he, six, seven? He, he was terrific, too. The other guys are missing the boat. Their parents are shuttling them here and shuttling them. 20,000 to this, 10,000. For and, what? And it's the AAU. Absolutely. It, 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 Twice I had a senior come out to throw the discus and shot. Yeah. His senior year. And he said, why? Why didn't I do this earlier? Because he thought he had to lift weights for football, and he was five foot ten. Mm. Where was he playing football? <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. But they had him convinced he was going to be a full scholarship kid. And I said, That's, you, you finally fit. I'm going to tell all my friends, he said, you should be doing this. You should be doing both. Yeah. 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 Hey, baseball pitcher Angelo D. Leonardo Sanok, a five-inning perfect game. He also had three hits and three RBI. Max Schnoor and Butler, two home runs and three RBI. Colin Patterson and Butler, two home runs and three RBI. Trey Wagner of Mars, a home run and three RBI. And Madden Clement of Butler, three hits and three RBI. Now, our stories of the week. The National Hockey League, for the fourth straight year, Pens failed to win a playoff series. New York four, the Pens three in game seven on a winning goal by uh, Artemis Panarin. Uh, New York eight and one all time, uh, game seven, National Hockey League. Playoffs. When you have to go on the road for Game Seven, your chances are really, really slim. And uh, Igor uh, Shesterkin, who the Pens had solved there in some of the middle games, he came up big in the last three games, especially here with the Pens with a 3-2 lead, trying to put it away. He stopped shot after shot. But guys, let's look at Games Five and Six. Game Five, they're winning two to nothing. Crosby gets uh, a ding by uh, Jacob uh, Truba, who's a pariah in Pittsburgh, but a hero in New York. That's what they do in the National Hockey League. They let this go. He knocks Crosby out. Now, you guys tell me this. New York then scores three goals in two minutes and 42 seconds. That can't all be because Crosby got hurt and left. It's not all, but the series is all. Now, yeah. Let's understand that. Right. Uh, uh, I'm not a Penguin fanatic, but... Three things happened. Rodriguez took the worst penalty in Pittsburgh history. That's what that started. Second, Crosby, Crosby gets hurt. And third, they're playing with a third-string goalie that no one plays with in the playoffs. Right. The Penguins were fantastic. They were fantastic in that series. You know, right. normally, it'd be a 4-0 series. If you're playing your third-string goalie, it's 4-0. That's yeah. how good the Penguins played. The Rangers had to pull everything out to beat them. So, it, it, you know, other series, they might have played lousy. If you watch the Penguins play this, they, they were they were they were fantastic. It took that guy, how do you say his name, the goalie, to save the game for Just the Rangers. Yes, I heard New York. I've been listening for days. In New York, they felt fortunate. No, the Penguins have played them. No, yeah, no, what I'm saying it's, no. the Crosby plays. The, the yeah. series is over. It's, it's just you cannot take the, one of the three best players in hockey. And, and, and off, game, off games the five and six, they both led two to nothing in the second period. But in those two games, here's where they lost. They were over over six in a power play. And you take without the, Crosby again. Yep. Yeah, and you take <laughs> you take the Rangers. 
they finished in the top five in power play and, and penalty kills. And they took advantage of that. And then the seventh game, Malkin was great on defense, but one shot on goal. He makes nine million a He's year. He's not near as good as he was. He, he makes nine million a year, not for one He's shot gone. on goal. He's gone. And, and I thought in that third period, the Pens were far too tentative. They, they, they did try to hold on. They tried they, to hold on to the lead. They, they played defense. They did. They, 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 they weren't enough. They weren't aggressive enough. And no in my estimation, new ownership. That's the old Red Sox ownership. Right. They jettisoned Nomar Garcia Parra. Yeah, Malkin. Be well, gone. Uh, Malkin's a free agent. He's Latang's a free. Latang's going to want a big contract. Are he they deserves gonna give it. it to him? He deserves it. But and, I heard and let me Montreal. Say. Latang to Montreal. And, and, just, and let me say this about Crosby. He's 16 years. He's had serious head injuries. What if he decides I'm done? Yeah, no, it's, going to, it's a big change. Penguin fans have been spoiled with Lemieux and Crosby. It's been yeah. a, no, nothing like that. Not, now, the, now, the, now well, let me go back to what you said. That's the pl- hardest thing. As a basketball coach, it was the hardest thing for me to do. You have a two. Let's say I had a twelve-point lead with six minutes left in the game. Right. right. How how do you play? Do you play aggressive? Do you play stops? You know, it's the hardest. I, it was the hardest thing for me to do. As a you coach. know what? There's no right answer because what happens in <laughs> retrospect? If you work, if you win, you go. Hey, it works. If you don't win, you go. But, but, it, but it sounds they, good. For, 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 for like nine minutes, the Penguins didn't allow a shot. So they're right. going to keep playing this way. They were yeah. playing great. Okay. They were clearing the, clearing, mm-hmm. the, uh, clearing it out over and over. And, and then they Took had one shot. Yeah. One shot and, over and, top and, of the And let's you know. say what happened on that shot. Pedersen lost his helmet, had a lead. Yes. And that was, it was the in the, key It was there. in the cards. And, and, the, and the Rangers took advantage <laughs> Thanks, of that. I, I should put that as number four. <laughs> now, you know, a, a lot of I, – I do give some credit to Louis Domingue. He stepped in in a difficult situation. Well, what I'm saying is he had his moment. <laughs> that, that goal he gave he up, the one moment. they lost. The ball but hits his thing, goes up in the air, goes over top of him. He that had doesn't happen to a major league goal, goalie. But here's the thing. He's not a major league he, goalie. He, he gave up an average of four goals every time he started. Yeah, no, he wasn't so good enough. So that wasn't good enough. But remember, the one, he had 12 goals and three guys said something about him. I'm thinking. That many goals? No, listen, he, did that uh, he had the Doc, uh, Doc Hodges. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so I'm bottom. not, I'm not that Donald. He did the best he could do. Yeah, he's he he's could a third do. stringer. Right. But, if the, but if Jari plays or somebody yeah. else, they win the series. And he's not 25 yeah, either. Like, he's going to be discovered. Right. But uh, having said all that, no one cares about your injuries. No, no, they no, don't. no, no, no they like, don't. like Truba, he's a hero. In no, the, oh, yes, he is. In the locker room, oh, he they're is. patting this guy he is. on he is. the shoulder. Did they have the same outrage when Malkin rearranged that guy's teeth? Yeah, exactly. Or, absolutely. Absolutely. It so, is part of the game. It is. Yeah. Hey, changes. They're the third oldest team in the National Hockey League. They have to make changes. They're, they're coming, and this team's not going to be the same. They need to get younger and need to do so in a hurry. Hey, the NFL, the schedule is out. The Steelers. You guys tell me what you think about it. Uh, game one, they're at Cincy to start the season. Game two, opener with uh, New England at Heinz Field. And then they have five prime time games Thursday, September 22nd at Cleveland. Sunday, October 23rd at Miami. Sunday, November 20th, they're home with the Bengals. Monday, November 28th at Indy. And on Saturday, Christmas Eve, December 24th, the Raiders at Pittsburgh, 815, the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. Well, the team's your name. That's why it's hard to win in the NFL. I mean, to sound too easy. Those were yeah. hard. Those were all hard, all hard games. Oh, my God. But, but Indianapolis is saying, you know, we have to go to play Pittsburgh. You know, yeah, yeah, so absolutely. the other team the same way. This, this, it's a tough, tough play. I heard a guy talk about yesterday about the Jets. They were saying, oh, he said, hey, that other team's look as good. Jets, you know, yeah, winner, yes. of course. Plus, they have they Damn. have Tampa Bay at home, no. but they go to Buffalo. They have the listen to these teams. They ha- they ha- they have uh, the Saints at home, the Jets at home. They go to Carolina, they go to the Falcons, and they go to the Eagles. Yeah, that's no, nothing. The best best news I heard on them: they play Cleveland early. That's a good chance. Watson, you know, Watson might not be yeah, there. Yeah, you know. if, if you if you tell me Deshaun Watson's coming back, I might put Cleveland at the top of the heap. But if he's not, he's going to miss the first six or eight games. i got to figure he's missing five minimum, don't it, you? At, at least four. They're having that hearing this week. You know what's you interesting, know? though? Cleveland, I heard this morning, Cleveland is the prime game on game three. That's it. They said, there's a chance. They're talking right now in meetings. Let's give him a two-game suspension. Right. And what? Because the NFL slick. They just, right. you know. Well, how about that game that Thursday night? You're going to have to have streaming. I would assume the local team still gets the game. That, that's like what they're the saying. So, so you'll have that one on general So form. we won't get them all, but we'll get when the Steelers Absolutely. play on Thursday night. Yeah. Hey, the buzz. Um, I'm reading this stuff, and I'm going, 
what do these guys know that we don't know? Pickett is the Steelers' quarterback of the future. Okay, he's 25. Trubisky's 26. Rudolph's 26. What is Trubisky? Yeah, if, if, Pickett, if Pickett is the future quarterback, what's Trubisky yeah. coming in? And uh, Tomlin said Pickett will be given every chance in camp to be the starter. Does he really believe this or mean it? Yes. Uh, you think he does? Oh. I the, think he has to. Hey, this guy's like uh, Babe Ruth down there. I mean, and I was the biggest fan of him. I'll tell you, <coughs> we loved him. I've had enough. Uh, seven Super Bowls, a Hall of Fame. Could he play a game? I, I think when Trubisky comes out in the field at the Trobe, oh, no, no. and and all these people are screaming and, and he is hollering the, for Pickett, he's going to wonder where he is. He's going to have trouble if, fighting that off, Al. If that's not going to be, gonna, easy. we're going to find out if it was the best pick ever or not. Yeah. Because I want to take, I mean, and no. I, we like Pickett. I want to take him again because I think Trubisky's good. Yeah. So I would have been happy with him. And, and there were a load of offensive tackles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take I'll say it again. They didn't pick another quarterback for 54 picks. And if Trubisky trips coming out of the tunnel to Heinz Field, oh, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be booing him and no, hollering. Oh, no, no. He can't even He doesn't stumble. have much hope. He doesn't have much no, hope there. No. All right, you mentioned Amazon uh, Prime. Uh, listen to this deal that they, they get with the NFL. Right. They're going to give the NFL $1.2 billion a year for 11 years to carry Thursday night games. And guess what? There'll be now trillions. <laughs> so they know. They know everything. It's Those, going ads money. Yes. Those ads are sold. Yeah. Uh, the, the, you know, the NFL keeps getting richer and richer, and yet there are some underlying problems there. Last year, the Steelers averaged, on average, 8,000 fewer fans per game, and even TV audience was down. What they're finding is, and you know this, a lot of the younger guys who are interested Absolutely. in betting, they want to go to the channel that gives them yep. a roundup yep. of every Absolutely. game that's well, going they're in, they're on. in game betting. Yeah, and they're they're not going to the games, nor are they watching a particular game on TV. Is how serious a problem do you think this is? I don't know if it's a problem because I watch Red Zone too. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, but yeah, I don't know. George, you watch Red Zone too, don't you? Never. Been. I call I, George and say, "What are you watching, George?" Yeah, absolutely. Red Zone. But I've heard the Steelers are concerned. Gotcha. Eight thousand fewer fans well, a yeah, game. Yeah, just bought by the parking and a couple beers and a hot dog. That's what they it's do. It's significant. Yeah. yeah. But, that, but, that, but that's but don't put raise the prices. Yeah. Know, the, oh, what, no. what, thirty cents or something. All of a sudden, yeah, they no, got it all back in, not, in one gonna, day. They're, they're not. Gonna, but they're, now yeah. with all these big. Someone was saying to me, "How can I watch the Amazon uh, Prime?" I said. Uh, well, you have to get a smart TV. Yeah. So go spend what fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for a yeah. smart TV, and then go up front. I, I, can't, I might put a, a, a sign up because I have it. I, You're gonna charge? Uh, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna put a sign. Up. Okay, you wanna watch Steelers right. tonight? Yeah. Come, man. Hey, come, no, only two dollars. Come what in. What I'm gonna do is also check out the Thursday night college football schedule. My wife doesn't have that for you. My wife doesn't know she's no, cooking yeah. that night. No, she doesn't she know. She, like all right, you're cooking. No, you know, Why am I cooking? <laughs> we got a lot. We got about thirty people coming. They don't. Uh, <laughs> they're as many revenue streams as they can find. They're oh. finding now. Think who they have involved. They have Amazon. They have CBS. They have NBC. They have Fox. They want as many avenues as possible. And I'll tell you what, whatever I know, Goodell makes it sixty million. All right. You can't say he's not. No, not that it but, wouldn't happen without him. And, and this is just the beginning because I'm saying within ten years, you want to watch the Super Bowl? Oh yeah, oh, twenty five bucks. It's coming. Right. You know that, that scheduling thing is interesting. That it used to take them a couple months to get that done. Yeah. Now because there's so many TV stations. They have to. We, oh, we can't put them on. Wait, you know the schedule is done by hand. It's not by hand. I heard that's the guy that said last, they have to. The guy that made it forever. last night. Used to be people. Oh, CBS doesn't Pittsburgh have this game. Right. We got to take it out. We got to get CBS this game. The guy that made it last night, I heard him go over how he did it. Rooney's asked for that game. Yeah, they have to ask for that game. Yes. Right. And he was talking about the different game. They gave Fox a Thanksgiving weekend. That would knock your socks off that because they have a soccer game to promote in between. World Cup. Yeah. Now, you know, that's the team that they still cater to. I, I don't understand. Dallas. Oh, yep. Dallas is Absolutely. the one. They said, when we look at the schedule, and, when we look at the schedule, that's the team we, we and, circle around. And it's I amazing. Like, I think you like the Raiders. But too. Dallas is it's coming on. Right. Coming Here's on one. Detroit. Zero four. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. unless they're on the coast. <laughs> hey, uh, what did they're going to be better, by the way? What oh, Al was Presley used to say, "Thank you." Thank, you very, thank you very much. And so Tom Brady's saying thank you, Fox. Tom oh Brady to Fox oh to cover NFL games when he retires at age 60. 
uh, for 375 noon over 10 years. Now, finally, G Giselle can stay at home yeah. and be a mom <laughs> at home. You know, all three of us are better than him, too, by the way. All three of them. My, my punctuation is not as good, maybe, and my, and my looks are definitely not as good. But... <laughs> Has he ever spoken at one time on the he's air? Just, and he's like, he's, how much he's, you got, he's got that person. 37. 37.5 37. million, million a year for 10 years. <laughs> oh, my God. Just because his name's Tom Brady. If his name that's was it. Harry Jones, they said, what's this guy doing that's here? The, his name ain't Harry Jones, and that's why he got the <laughs> I know, I know. And the guy he's doing it with, I can't name. Yeah. And he's their number Here's one example, guy. Right? Right? I cannot there name the uh, announcer. Uh, uh, we finish our pro football uh, with, with this um, note that uh, Mr. Tweets. Antonio Brown wants to retire as a dealer, <laughs> and I say this: uh, no way, oh no my. way. You quit in your team. You you trashed your own coach. You walked. Yeah, there's off. no chance. No, no way. Chance. No chance. He has a big comedy show down there, and he wants. To <clears throat> That's all he's doing. Think about a guy that he's ruined his people life. forever. Think about a the guy that George called me one time, saw him play in Central Michigan. He's like, you got to see this guy play. So he stood out as a player. <laughs> yeah, right. Said well, why, why wouldn't he just be? He couldn't. He couldn't. <laughs> couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Yeah. Hey, uh, Major League uh, Baseball, uh, the Pirates beat the Reds one to nothing on a no hitter. No, it, it, it's the Pirates <laughs> were no hit. They become the sixth team in 120 years to win a game in which they did not get a hit. Uh, the Pirates 15 and 19, third place. Then they open it uh, with the with the uh, Cubs. They lose nine nothing. They were held to th three hits. So there you have two games, three hits, and one run. They're using the old mask trick. They, they, they lose so badly that they try to fool the other team thinking, we don't have to play tomorrow. And then they sneak they, they they sneak, one a, they sneak yeah. a 3 2 win. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're pretty slick. That, that record's not that bad. <laughs> That's because they're both. Yeah, record's not that bad. But, they're uh, both. Uh, Bednar's uh, been uh, unbelievable. Uh, uh, Bednar's Un seven for seven in Saints. Unbelievable. 1.15 years. Without him, they are the no, worst that's what team I'm saying. in baseball. They're bullpen. He had a four yeah. batter. He had a four out save the other day. I thought, and his arm didn't fall off. I saw he it pitched the, other the day. next day. Yeah, and he pitched the next day. Yeah, so it's did. proof that yeah. you can do it. Yeah, and yet he's not named their their closer. No, he is now. He is now. Stratton's now, eighth inning now. Now, now by this time of the year, thirty four games, Clemente would have more hits than the entire <laughs> Pirate team. Oh no, no. That's how. That's it's so how, hard to that's watch. My wife says, you, know, uh, "You get great comments from somebody." She says, "They got that score wrong. The Pirates got no hit." I said, "No, you, you got. They got the score right. Pirates, Pirates won." So how that happened? Yeah. And they're averaging around nine thousand fans per game. How bad is it? The Dodgers came to town and they they didn't have any more than twelve thousand for a Dodgers. You, game. Yeah, how about when they show the the picture of the stadium? There's yeah. nobody there. No one there. Hey, now let you guys. Uh, especially you because you, you follow them so much. Mitch Keller, 0-5, 6.61 ERA. This is three years as a starter. I'm not seeing any significant development. Is they, keep telling, for, they keep is telling it, us it is. Is it time to move into middle relief? I, I would try move something. Them. I, move them. Oh. I'd move them all right now, too, now. Yeah, I'd try something. With what them. is it? Because it's, it's three it's, years it's now. A, it's a delicate, uh, in the pros, they say all the time, in baseball, that, that confidence factor, you, you have doubt all the time. His doubts have to be... Yeah. Immense right now. But I don't want right. to hear anymore. He throws at ninety six. Everybody. Everybody like, throws ninety six. It comes in ninety six. It goes. Except high. Cortez from Yankees, who's going to be the all star pitcher. He throws ninety two. His top pitcher ninety two. He gets everybody out. Does that tell you something? He knows how to pitch. <laughs> yeah, he maybe. knows how to pitch. Exactly. Hey, by the way, happy birthday, <clears throat> Willie Mays. He turns ninety one. One of the greatest. Oh my gosh. I enjoyed seeing player. him so many times playing. In Pittsburgh, it was they wouldn't have enough money to today. watch him play. No, no they wouldn't have enough money. No, today. they say, well, what do we do with this guy? That's the best fielder. Best hitter. I mean, he hits home runs too. Yeah, but he also hits three thirty. What, what do we What do we do about this guy? He, he beat you every way. He could beat you with a bunt, oh, still yes. a base, his arm, his power. And I remember as a kid growing up, the arguments were there was a Mickey Mantle camp and a Willie Mays. It was awesome. Camp. So forget you had Duke Snyder or yes. Brooklyn. Yeah. How about? Did you mention a word there? Really? The, the, you know, the pros wouldn't know what this word is. No, he, bunt. <laughs> Willie, Mate. Mickey, and the Duke. Well, it was. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Duke Snyder. Yeah. Bunt. Did you mention Absolutely. bunt? <laughs> yeah. They don't even what that word means no. in the pros anymore. No. No, they really don't. They hold about like this and wonder why they can't butter. The, the bat's vertical. The bat is vertical and they wonder why they can't hit it. Hey, hey guys, here's a note of humility. All the Major League Baseball memorabilia gone for a million this and that. Andy Warhol uh, silk screen painting of Marilyn Monroe just sold for $195 million. So JFK move, will, move JFK will over, He'd still buy it. Move over, baseball guys. Hey, let's go to back to the uh, names, image, and likeness, and the gold rush. And now we come up with a new rule. And come up with called the Wong Way, named after University of Miami basketball uh, player Isaiah Wong, 
who was going to enter the transfer portal after billionaire John Ruiz enticed Kansas State right. guard Nigel Pack to come to Miami for 800000 Wong said, I'm leaving. Ruiz said, no, I'll give you the same deal. So now when that happens to a player, it's called the Wong way. Yes. He's going to stay. He's going to get his money. It's the last one of those. It's past me. It's past, way past me. Uh, uh, guys, now they're talking about attorneys are stepping in. And I try to explain to someone, they said, what do you mean the Supreme Court rule? I said, they ruled nine to nothing in the NCAA versus Austin case. And uh, that was on the heels of the O'Bannon case. Was, right. Z, the kid from UCLA, yes, uh -huh. he is. that, that, that well, the NCAA was profiting from these names, image, and likeness. So now lawyers are jumping in and saying five-star players should get at least a minimum of 50000 per year. And the other players, it can be negotiable. This is why it's going to come under the Fair Labor Standards Act. So now schools are form forming these collectives to maximize player values by connecting them to, with business opportunities, read wealthy business owners. But they won't use it for recruiting. No, no <laughs> way, not at all. Hey, I'd hire a coach. I'd, I'd be the first guy to be, if I was a head coach of Pitt, I'd hire a coach and say, listen, you're going to visit every business in the city today. And we need millions by the time you come back, or you're fired. Well, uh, <laughs> and uh, and they, for, they get it. Former Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn, who's an economics major, an honor student in Notre Dame, he's in charge of the collective to connect these players. You know who's in the ground floor, the quarterback at Penn State? And he has a year left, Clifford. Yeah, well, hey, Notre Dame athletic director and lawyer Jack Swordwick said, look, and he said in Sports Illustrated, the breakup of college sports at Division One level is inevitable. And he called that four years ago. And, and, oh, and there, yeah. there's a wealth gap there. The Power Five is actually a Power Two. The SEC made $800 million last the year. 10, they huh? jumped ahead the Big Ten and yeah. made 760 The ACC had their best year ever, $500 million. But they're a far Way back. distant yeah. Sun third. Sun half a million yeah, and the other conferences are going down Can't to tubes. It. That's it for us. We run out of time. We'll see you next week. Thank you for being an Armstrong customer. As your internet, TV, and telephone provider, we continually invest in our state-of-the-art fiber optic network across six states to meet current needs and stay ahead of future demand. Our employees are your family, friends, and neighbors. Their dedication to customer service sets us apart as an industry leader. We believe it's our responsibility to be good community partners through sponsorships and outreach programs like Breaking Bread. Why Armstrong? Unmatched employees. Unmatched customer care. Unmatched fiber network. Your world can change in an instant. But what if this could have been avoided? With monitored smoke detectors from Guardian Protection, our 24-7 monitoring immediately alerts you and first responders when needed. Because keeping your family and home safe is our number one priority. Life is challenging, but keeping your family safe shouldn't be. Guardian Protection. Call 1-800-PROTECT and let us protect your world.